so this, we're, we're going to paint the glow-in-the-dark Christmas tree, okay? And none of these paints are glow-in-the-dark. These do not glow in the dark, right? It's this one that looks like glue. See it? It has a little green tint to it, and it looks like glue, and it's really runny. That's that's our glow in the dark paint, okay? And because and we're gonna put these lights, pretend like they're lights, on our tree first, then put ornaments. But you can't put paint on this because paint is opaque, and we'll just cover it up. So you have to let these, and they'll look like little uh, little white pearls, but they turn clear like Elmer's glue when they dry and just leave the powder behind, okay? So I just, I actually make this, I order the powder and mix it with the medium. So, cause I want it to be as bright as I buy it from an industrial place, you know, where they paint stairs and whatever. So we're gonna paint the background first. And what we're gonna root for is 3D, right? So 3D means there's gotta be dark areas, medium areas, and light areas. But if we keep playing with it, it just becomes one color and very boring. I mean, it would work, but not 3D. So we're gonna make it the most dark here on the sides, medium-ish in the middle, and, as, and the lighter version closest to the tree, so it looks like it's glowing. Well, making the snow is super easy, <laughs> right? And then because we'll do it with our uh, dirty paintbrush, so it'll already have a little bit of blue in it, so it's very easy. But this is the trick, right? So when I do it, this it depends on the day. So however you do it is perfect. Because sometimes I go straight out and all, my, all mine are straight out, wiggle, 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 wiggle. And then they all go this way, right? Row after row after row, that way. But then this time when I did it, I was in an up and down mood. Both are fine, like this. <laughs> what if going up is pretty or, or easier for your hand? But if I go up, what do I have to do on the other side? Matchy, matchy up, right? That's the only trick. So however your style, it's just we're gonna repeat that repeating brush stroke over and over. So you wanna keep it going in one direction, okay? And then this is super easy. And then tree, right? Tree is we use this flat one. And this is how, oh, I need a plate. I'll have to run and go get a plate. But it's flat paintbrush like this. I just get paint on the back side like that. And I just go, Tap, 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 tap. And then when I want them to be pointy on the end, I just do it really, really slow. Pointy tap, a tap, a tap, a tap, and they stick out. So it's actually very easy. And then when we do the dots, we're gonna get rid of our easel. Bye, easel. We just throw it on the floor. So know where you're gonna put your easel, because to put the dots on, you have to do it flat. But the trick is, it's still gonna be wet. The reason why I use an easel is to keep your arms off the painting because it's soft and wet. But to do the dots, we lay it down flat and use our stick and go dot, 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 right? But, and you can even make a little swirl, dot, 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 like that. But because if we went like this, dot, they start leaking. <laughs> and they look like stupid drops, like drips. You're like, that's not brown. So if we do it like this, they're drying at the same time we're making our pokes. And I won't be able to see what you're doing, right? I'll keep holding mine up like this, but I don't care if mine drips. I worry about yours, okay? And because we're making little piles, little lumps, they'll take longer to dry, okay? So everything I said, just made no sense. No sense at all. You have no experience. What is this lady talking about? Because you only learn on earth by doing, right? So everything I said was like, but then as we do it, you'll go, oh, this is the thing she was talking about. I get it. Okay. So I'm going to put the original away, but I'll pick it up whenever we need to. And we need our round paintbrush. Rounded. 
Not square flat. She's for making branches, not flat. Rounded. Mine has a little bend to her. <laughs> it fluffs up, up a little bit. <laughs> there, fluffier. Okay, she dried a little flat. Okay, and so it's a triangle. A Christmas tree, triangle, right, whatever. So if you get some paint on your triangle, we're going to put the tree hanging out over the background anyway. So like, oh my gosh, I have to protect the triangle. No, no, you already know a Christmas tree is a triangle. So, you know, fix it easy. And it goes white closest, then blue. And then we add, I don't know if you can see it, but we have two blues right? There is super dark blue, but what is this ultramarine, super cool looking blue to help it look more 3 d -y, right? We add those just for interest. Don't they look cool? They re even reflect light differently. They're, t they're what? We'll add those like lightning. So we need our, can you find your white and your two blues and pop open the lids? Dropping. And we're gonna save our lids because we can use this paint later. Okay, oh, and this nervous, excited feeling that you have is perfect, okay? So nervous and excited feels the same bubbles, right? And everyone loves to feel excited, so you're just excited. And it's creating a whole bunch of chemicals in your brain. Your brain's getting ready to learn something. And those chemicals are going, boom, 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 boom. But as soon as you start painting, your brain will relax. And it'll be like, oh, I get it. And those thoughts that are creating those chemical emotions goes away. So don't worry. So here's my white paint. And I'm gonna put white, maybe, uh, let's just do this part real quick. Touch the, t get my white paint and just go poke. I just got some, some, a little poke. And I just wanna go make like a line from the top of my triangle just so I can cut the painting in half. <laughs> there, just, uh, and it's white on white so you can't see what I did. You just have to trust me. It's like, what did she, I don't know. I want to see, I'll see if it makes a little reflection. So from the top of the triangle, it's shiny. That's the only way you can tell I did it. And I just touched the top of the triangle and went, with some white paint. And it's just for my brain. And then I'm going to go next to, I'm going to go next to the triangle and just smash my paintbrush. And then when my paintbrush opens, it goes, Bleh! and then I stare at one hair on the edge. And she, this hair touches the pencil. So I stab my white and I land next to the triangle, smash! And then I sneak it up. <gasps> One hair's touching. I uh, want to go closer, I'll show you. So I go smash and there's the pencil. Can you barely see it, right? I'm touching the pencil with my one hair on the edge. <sighs> but it's the only way you can tell I did it is because it's Jamie. Shiny a little bit. Here, here, here. You guys are staring at me like I'm crazy. I'll make some baby blue. You don't do this. This is just for me. I went like that. And then I smashed my paintbrush. And I went right next to the pencil. I went like, and I'm letting one hair touch the pencil. Is that better? You don't put baby blue on it. I was just doing that so you could see, right? So I, I just, oh, we're only doing one side. Let's learn on this side and this side will be our best side. So we'll just do this one side. Okay, now, and yours is supposed to be white, not blue. That was just so you could see. Now I'm gonna stab my white like I'm mad and get more. Stop! And then I just go next to that line so now it will be not just two fingers big, it will be four fingers big. Squish. What? Two stripes, but yours is white, not blue, right? But look how fat it is. That's like huge now. It's like four fingers. Bleh. 
Brandon, you're staring. Did you do it? I can't tell because everything's white. It's the same as me looking at your painting. I can't tell. I can't tell nothing. Okay, so how big is it? Four fingers of white. Okay, now we need a blue. So there's two blues. One blue, she looks like she has purple in it, and one is dark navy blue, dark sky blue, and then there's this um, purpley blue. They look the exact same color on the camera. That's dumb. Well, how about this? There's way more dark blue in the cup. This is just a decoration. So the dark, dark blue. That's what we need. Dark blue. And I just want to make, um, how, how do you make 3D? Dark, medium, light. Well, we just made light. We need to make medium. Okay, so I'm just going to dirty paintbrush. I'm just going to get some, just some blue. So I don't stab it like I'm mad. I just, I just give it a little tiny poke. Let's go in. Whoa, okay, that was more poke than I wanted, but I'm going to live with it. I just go poke. Just on the end, a little ton of poop, right? And then I'm gonna put it, I'm just gonna wipe it off like it's a booger and I want it off my paintbrush. I'm just gonna put it next, next to the white that I just did. Ew, get off my paintbrush, you sicko. Like that. So I have white and white. And do you guys know which direction you want yours to go? Down, straight, up. If you don't know, you're about to do whatever you choose is correct. Because it doesn't matter. It's your decoration style, right? So let's scribble that. It's only about one finger big of a scribble. Like, ee, 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 ee. That's it. So I'm just going to make a scribble out of this. Maybe just make it a little wider and I just go, how to, should I go down or out? I'm going to try it out this time because I already did down. So I'm just going to go. Oh, if there's white in my paintbrush, so I'm making baby blue. I haven't cleaned my paintbrush yet because I need those colors in my paintbrush. All the way tip top. So how big was that? Oh, it ended up being a bigger scribble than I thought. I thought it was going to be one finger big. It was like two fingers big. Just the blue. I was just decorating the blue. I just wanted to, but then the white hasn't been touched yet, right? Okay, so let's clean our paintbrush. Okay, now I'm just going to clean my paint. I, I want it to be a softer blue in that white. But I feel like there's too much blue in my paintbrush. So I'm going to lick it off. No, I'm not. I put it in a paper towel and I fold it over. I'm going to squeeze the extra paint out and a big booger comes out. Like that. I just want to get the extra paint out. That's all. It's still bluish, right? It's still bluish, but it doesn't have a giant glob of paint in it anymore. Can you squeeze that out? Squeeze. So it's going to have less blue in it. Squeeze. So you, did you scribble your blue? Mm -hmm. However you do it is how you do it. It is correct. And then, so there's no paint on my paintbrush, right? I'm not going to add any more either. I'm going to use just the blue on the painting and do run tiny, tiny row and push some of the blue into my white. I've never done that before. We'll wait and see. So I just go, I, I, t I, like I'm cutting the blue in half and I push her, I push her in and pull her out and push her in and pull her out and push her in and pull her out. Oh, I'm not even touching the tree yet. Look at me. I'm just sneaking in. A, I, oh, it's like a baby version. I grab some white and put it in the blue and put some blue in the white. I grab the white and put it in the blue and blue and blue and grab the white. Oh, look at, oh, nice, nice. Now I have a darker version and a medium version. And small wiggles, small wiggles, so we can travel slower. 
big wiggles and it's just like, uh, 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 too big. Just wiggly, 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 gentle, gentle. And then there's so much blue on my paintbrush. Not really, but I could squeeze the extra off. Bye. Now let's cut that blue in half and go closer to the tree. Now I can actually touch the triangle, right? So I go, oh, half that blue, wiggly, wiggly. Oh, it's even lighter. Oh, nice, nice. So how many versions of white do I have? I have dark, medium, light. 3D. And just, was I, was I pushing hard with my paintbrush? No. It's like I'm floating on top and I'm just going, push and shove and push and shove and push and shove and back and forth. Oh, who's doing up and down? Like, like, like I did on this one. Look how I did this one. Up and down. That's fine. Who's doing up? Also fine. Interesting. All of it. The trick is 3D. Dark, medium, light. Okay, let's clean our paintbrush again. Pinch. And I'm gonna get some white. I'm gonna do it one more time. And I just poke my white, poke. And I'm gonna wipe it off next to the triangle. What? We already did it. It's all ruined. But I just go like this, wee, like that. We're gonna do it one more time, but going out. And do it way softer. So this time was just for understanding. Now we're gonna do it for real texture. Put one more swipe, just some of white next to the Christmas tree. See, it was all zaggedy, and now I just put kind of a, a straight line again. I ruined it! Like that. But now, now, this is just for decoration. Do you have to be so perfect with your zigzags? Start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. Now. Now this is super soft. We got our colors where we want them. Now we can go like... Big, medium, little, big, 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 medium, little, little, big, 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 little, big, big, little, medium, 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 little, big, 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 little, big, 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 little, big, big. What? Okay, watch. I'm just gonna go white. I'm gonna do this way now. I'm gonna make light, medium, dark. Three rows. So I just go. You wanna see me do it without stopping? Watch this. There's my glob, and I go. Oh, so look how soft I'm being. I'm being so soft. La, 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 And then, la, now I'm just doing it like a crazy soft, soft, scribble, scribble. And then the next row, I cut that in half. Oh, I'm using the side of the paintbrush, not the tip of the paintbrush. That's what I'm doing different. I'm using the side of the paint. Look, I'm laying her down almost flat, using the side of the paintbrush. <laughs> and then another row, farther away. And then another row, farther away. Oh, I'm into the dry part. Don't care. Isn't that neat? Do you have dark, medium, light? Okay, okay. You want to go darker? I do. I do, I do, I do. Who, who, who understands that? Right? Should I keep touching, touching, touching? What if I keep mixing this together? What color will I get? One version of baby blue. It's all right. But it's not 3D. Do I have dark parts, medium parts, light parts? Okay, now I'm gonna get dark blue and I just give it a stab. Now can we put it outside of it, out here? Wee! We're gonna add that. And I'm not using, I drop it off with the tip of my paintbrush. But when I'm blending, I use the side of my, here's my explanation, watch this. So here's my, pe my piece of bread and my butter. And I'm going to butter my paint, I butter my bread. <laughs> That's going to cut up my bread. But what if I use the side of the knife and I, oh, it's smoother, right? So I, now, who dropped off their blue? Oh, like a darker blue. Let's attach that. Watch this. Which direction? I was kind of pointing down a little bit. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, I'm grab half the white, half the blue, half the white, half the blue. Nice, nice. I attached it. Now it got darker. And I went and I attached the blue to the white and went, how, how, can you hear me scratchy? And it's soft, it's so soft. 
and now I st and I never go back and visit the bright area. She's finished. But now I'm going farther away so it gets darker and I'm going to go farther away and it's going to get darker. Okay, now I'm going to get more blue. Dark blue. Stop. And put it next to that. <laughs> like that. It's darker. How come? There is less white in my paintbrush. So every time I go farther away, it's darker. It's darker. Okay. Can you attach it to what we already did with the same texture? Because paintings tech the texture. So I go, well, whatever I did inside here, I can't go there anymore. But I want to do the same texture and attach it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Everybody pause. Pause and look up. Look what I did. I don't love it anymore. Look at the perfectly straight line I made. I don't like that. I'm just going to get mad and go home. No. What I'm going to do. I never get mad. I just do better. I clean my paint. Calm down, Blue. There's too much of you. So I squeeze it off. Now let's see if I can... I just want to softly attach that darker blue to my lighter blue with no paint on my paintbrush. Oh, that, oh, okay. Now you can't see the edge where the two were touching. Oh, that's better. That's okay. It looked like a flag. It looked all perfect. Just a few extra touches. It softened. All right, all right, all right. Who feels like a no paint paintbrush? Very helpful. Because if I have paint on my paintbrush, it keeps adding more and more and more. I just, a no paint paintbrush just tells two colors to like chillax and be friends next to each other. Oh, let's go deeper. Dark blue. Swipe. Oh, heck. Let's paint it all the way to the corner then. But of course, uh, that is going up and down. That is not matching texture. After I paint it, I have to go back and put the same texture that we already were using. Does that make sense? Like, okay, I just put the paint on. Who cares? But matchy, matchy texture makes it look like it's all attached. So let me try. Let me try. So I attach it to the blue. Oh, oh yeah. Softly. And then I check. And I'm like, did I end up with a, oh, look what I did. Ew, it's a perfect line again. I'm going to throw a fit. No, I'm not. I'm just going to get a paper towel and squeeze the paint out so I can have a no paint paintbrush to make my edges softer. Softer. Right? And I just go, okay, no paint. It's, I squeezed it out, right? It's a little blue, but, and I go, ew. Look at that stupid line there. It like, looks like a flag. Well, it's no paint, super soft. La, 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 la. Hey, it's disappearing. I put the white and the blue and the blue and the white and the white and the blue and the blue and the white. <gasps> it disappeared. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's so good. Wait, let's check for 3D. Is it brightest next to the Christmas tree? Does it turn into medium? Does it start to disappear and become dark in the corners? Yes, it does. What? Wait, wait, wait. What if yours is getting too dark, right? Could you clean your paintbrush all the way and just get close to your white and push the dark, dark, dark back, back? Calm, calm down. Or could you add some more white where it is? Oh, that's it. And make a new color and attach them. Little bits, though. Little bits. Gentle, gentle. Who likes yours so far? Did, who got 3D? Who goes, hmm, hmm, this is this is interesting to look at. Hmm. And then what about what about this awesome lightning colors that is the purpley blue? What? So purpley blue does not go in my white. It's too dark, right? But it can totally go in medium and dark. And I'm just gonna the purpley blue. There's less of her, right? I can't, it's really hard to tell on camera. But I just go, Pook. and where am I going to put it? I'm just going to put little dots, right? Where should they go at? In the white? No! Too dark. It will ruin it. Medium? Maybe. Uh, 
the dark areas. Look at how a different version of blue that is. And I'm just, that's it. That's all I need is just a few polka polkas. Polka, 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 polka. And she's supposed to float on top, but she's not supposed to be polka dots. So which direction is your brush stroke going? Mine I decided was side to side, right? Last time was up and down. So whatever texture you chose, just stay with that. And let's just ask those to blendy, blendy around. I don't have to blend them in all the way, I like them. But the texture doesn't match. They're not supposed to be circles, so I just kind of go, oh. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, 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 not nice. Oh, that's too dark, we'll fix it. La, 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 la. Ooh, 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 interesting, interesting. That changed it, but look at where it's super dark. What can I do to fix that? I hate it. Could I clean my paintbrush with a no paint paintbrush and tell it to calm down? I just wanted to decorate my blue a little bit. Super soft. Who's pushing hard with your paintbrush? You wanna see how soft I'm doing? Everybody pause. Tickly, 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 tickly. Tickly, super soft. And I push hard on it. No. Soft, tickly, tickly, like that. And I clean my paintbrush. Watch this. Ew, ew, it got, I, oh, it's too dark. Well, what if I touch the very edge of it with no paint on my paintbrush and just go, Blur oh, so soft. Oh, blurry, blurry edge. Give it a blurry, blurry, invisible edge. Scribbly, scribbly, fuzzy, fuzzy, misty, misty color. Now that's interesting to look at. You wanna see that again? How soft, how soft is that? So soft. Just on the edge, just calm down, fuzzy edge. Just a tickle, tickle with a no paint on my paintbrush, fuzzy, fuzzy brush. La, 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 la. Who thought that was really hard? Because guess what? It's about to get easy. Because what are we going to do on the other side? The exact same thing. So which side should be our ugly side? The first one. How come? Because we didn't know what we were doing. And we were learning. Who would like to add some more white and push your white back again? Does anyone want to do that? Raise your hand if you feel like you made one color. Yeah? Watch it. Who wants to see me fix it? Only if you don't like yours. Watch this. I get more white. Only if you don't like yours. So, Carlos, this is for you. Carlos, you didn't like yours? Okay. Only for Carlos then. But I wipe off white down the middle, and then watch. I'm going to push my white back further and further. So I go scribbly, 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 softly. And then a row next to that. And then a row next to that. Oh, it's getting darker. How come? Because my paint is darker. And it's, oh, too much white on my paintbrush. Calm down, white. And then it should start disappearing. Oh, there's white disappear and I go farther away and farther away and farther away and farther away there now this side is not going to match my other side because I did it twice so if you like yours you leave yours because now mine's not going to match because I did mine twice whatever but how did I do that I had a lot of white and then as I scribbled, I'm running out of white on purpose. Then the next row has less white on my paintbrush. The next row has less white on my paintbrush. And I'm running out and I'm running out. And then I totally run out on purpose. Right? The same with the dark. If I put dark in the corner, I should have a lot of dark. And then less, less, less. I'm running out. I'm scribbling inside the white. And then I run out. So now we're going to do the other side. Who's ready? Who's already doing it with no, without waiting for me? Oh, terrible, terrible. Now I'm gonna clean my paintbrush. You know why? There's blue in it, and I would like to do the white part next to the Christmas tree. And there's a blue in my paintbrush. So I just give it a squeeze, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Oh, I just got slimed, so. Okay, another squeeze. Squeeze, 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 
this is why I tried to glue the, the paintbrush in the top and the bottom together because this is when they come apart and make me crazy. <clears throat> oh, now my paintbrush is like some kind of flat thing. Let me make it round again. <clears throat> there. I made a flat beak on a duck. It was like this. Duck's beak. Fluffy, fluffy, roundy, roundy. Okay. Now who feels like they can, whatever we just learned, could we do it again? But now our brain goes, oh, we put white and then we put dark and then we ask them to blend together without covering each other up. They're next to, next to. It makes more sense. So in the beginning when I told you with a whole bunch of words and you're like, what? And then now that you've done it, your brain goes, oh, okay. You, uh, what? Of course, right? So we put the white and how did we outline the white? I stabbed the white, stab! A glob of white. This one you'll be able to see because my paintbrush is dirty, right? And I'm gonna go next, and what happens? My paintbrush opens, and then I look at that one hair touches the pencil. Let's see, let's see if it's true. You can't even see my pencil on the canvas, right? <laughs> but I go smash, and then I sneak up to the pencil, and then I look at that one hair that is touching the pencil. Nice. Did it? Yours will be a little more blue this time because you have a tiny bit of dirty paintbrush. Well, remember when we did it last time? It was four fingers of white, right? So like, well, it can't possibly be done. So let's just get more white paint. Stop! And how many more paint, paint rows? Like three of them. So I just go next to that one is gonna be more white. And I get more white, stab. And next to that one is more white. All right, let me measure with my fingers. Yep, four fingers. Look at those globs, globs of paint. That's okay, cause uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I remember this from last time. It was a nice white, and then we're gonna sneak the blue into it. Remember? And we're rooting for 3D. So this is just laying down the white part that we decorate with. Rooting for 3D all the time. I just, oh, there's still a lot of white on my paintbrush. Let's get the extra off. Just a little, little bit. Well, that's a lot. I had a, I had a huge glob on mine. Just looks like it was about to fall off. Okay, now I'm going to get dark blue. Should it be the purpley blue? No, that's for decorations. The dark, dark blue. And then, do I need a lot or was it just a pook? Just a pook. So I'm just going to go pook. Aha, uh -huh. pook. I just got some. Not hard. How come? Because I'm going to do medium blue and I'm going to put it next to my forefinger. Oh, oh, I didn't get enough. Look at it. It turned dry. Okay, one. I was very delicate. Okay, one more pant to pant to poke. Okay, there. <laughs> All right. I didn't even make it to the bottom. So now I go, okay, it's a blue line. And we're gonna do blendy blendy, right? Oh, remember, okay, okay, let's talk about your brush strokes. Mine were side to side, so I have to go side to side over here, matchy matchy. Or this one, I, I don't know why, but I felt like going down, down, down. So that means when I do the other side, I have to go down, down, down. So same matchy matchy, right? You can't go side to side and then down. It's not the same painting. So we have to sit. So if you're going like this, then matchy matchy over here, okay? So let's let's go. Let's make one tiny little row of scribbly into our white and make baby blue. Little. Last time I was way too big, so I didn't get mad, but I can do better, okay? So I just go. All right, all right. Um, and I'm kind of making baby. I'm being littler this time. Look, I'm being more careful, slower. La, 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 la. All right, all right, I got it, I got it. Yep, yep, yep. This will be my dark row. All righty. And it's only two fingers big. Last time I was being very humongous. Okay. 
And then, can I do another one? Just with the blue that's in my paintbrush. And then I'm gonna cut that blue in half and push it closer to the Christmas tree into the white and try to make a brighter version of white. You wanna see me do that close? Watch this. Okay, so I'm gonna, okay, I'm not adding any more. It's just this, what's on my paintbrush. And I push just a little bit of the blue and the white and the white and the blue and the blue. Oh, oh, I'm making a babier version of blue without adding any blue. I'm just yanking on some of the blue. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Remember, it starts off looking all weird like that because we use the side of our paintbrush very gentle. Remember that? Emma, are you having fun? You're doing the happy dance. Okay, now, okay, just what's left on my paintbrush, I'm gonna cut baby, baby blue in half and maybe it turns white, I don't know, I don't know. So I'm just gonna go, okay, half the baby blue, wiggly, wiggly, oh, this is coming out better than last time. How come it's my second time doing it? All right. I have dark, medium, light, look at me. Cause I on purpose run out of blue, on purpose into the white. That's what I did. Dark, medium, light. But those look like flags. That is not my favorite. Oh, look at what I have to do. Look at what's the top of them. Those aren't even attached. What the heck? <laughs> Attach those. What the heck? I didn't even, there's like no paint up there at the top of the triangle. Whatever. Okay. Now, just clean the paint off my paintbrush. How come? Just for texture now. Just for texture. Just for, just for, and the side of the paintbrush. Remember the peanut butter? Mm -hmm. Just the, just a little softness. And a, how soft am I being? Tickly, tickly, tickly. Mm. Okay, so let's start on the white and go darker, right? So, and then look how much smoother it is. How come? You don't have to do perfect little rows anymore. You're more like, ah, like that. And super soft. And see, and you can see how, so can you see how soft I'm doing? Like tickle, 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 tickle. One little scribbly row. And then I do the row next to that. And they scribbly, scribbly. And then I do the row next to that. Oh, it's getting darker. Okay, and I just want to make sure I don't have any perfect, those perfect lines, you know, where it's like perfect, and you're like, oh, that's a flag. It looks like a flag. That's terrible. The goal is dark, medium, light. Which means once I touch the white and there's white on my paintbrush, can I go touch the dark area on purpose? No. I have to run out of paint row after row on purpose. If I'm touching the white and I go and plop my wet white paintbrush in the dark, it's just dark. I just, I just contaminated them, right? Right? Now let's get our, stab our dark blue again. The dark blue that's a lot stab. Let's see if we remember, cause this is when it gets all tricky. So I get my dark blue, and I'm I'm just going to run it all the way from the top. Whee! This is when flag happened to me last time, where I made the perfect row. Ugh. And then, ew, look how much blue's left on my paintbrush. Calm down. I'm going to get some of it off. Okay, I just want to blend. It's just, got, it's just going to keep covering everything up blue. Okay. Okay, okay. So I'm trying to try to like sew it together, attach that dark blue to my baby blue. So I'm gonna sew it with little tiny wiggles, side of my paintbrush, and I just go, let me do it closer. So I'm just gonna go, mm, mm, mm. I'm push and pull the dark and the light and the light and the dark and the dark and the light and the light and the dark and the dark and the light. And I made a new, oh, it looks kind of like a flag, but we can go back and fix that, right? Oh, I attach it to the top of the painting. Now let's push it out one more row, like out farther away, up farther away. Oh, 
that kind of, oh, okay, that, oh, I, I just made a flag. I just made a perfect line. Uh, it's not, uh, 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 I'm mad. So I clean my paintbrush. So I don't, I don't want any more blue on there. No blue. Goodbye. Goodbye, blue. Okay. Now, no paint in my paintbrush. Can I soften that little, that perfect line right there? Like that, like no paint on my paintbrush. Delicate. And try to make it turn into mist. No paint on my paintbrush. Just touch the edge of that dark blue. <gasps> it's turning into mist. Ever as soft as I'm tickling it. I'm barely, oh, I can't see the line anymore. Did it. I did it, you're jealous. You're jealous. I did it so soft. That was the softest I ever did it. Oh, oh, look what I did with my dirty paintbrush. I went and touched over here. Oh, that was already done. I'm going to try to calm it down. My paintbrush had a bunch of blue on it, and I wanted to play on the other side. The other side is done. Oops. Don't do that. You'll mess up. Because there was dark blue on my paint. Okay. Now I'll do another row of dark blue. Stab the dark blue. Blah. And then we go way. Who thinks it makes sense now? I know, right? It's the no paint on your paintbrush blurry moment that actually does the soft blendy blendy. Okay, I gotta attach that super dark blue to my baby blue. Question? I missed the question. Okay, so now with my my paintbrush, I'm gonna attach the super dark blue. Look, it looks like a look like, like a flag, but I'm gonna sew it together, and I just push and pull the dark into the baby blue, the dark into the baby blue, the dark into the baby blue, and then it looks way too dark. It's not a gentle disappear. I clean my paintbrush and do a no paint blur. Okay, cleaned it. Now let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. No paint. Misty, misty. I put the baby blue and the dark blue and the baby blue and the dark blue right on the edge. Tell them to calm down. Nice. I went across the top. The top should be a little darker. And I had some dark blue in my paintbrush. I went across the top with it. Nice. Okay. Okay, it makes sense to me. All right. Do I have dark, medium, blue, lighter, 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 and like it close to my, and everybody's texture is unique and different, right? I, now I'm not going to go near my Christmas tree white anymore because there's always some blue on my paintbrush. I'm going to stay away from that. I'd like it to stay white for me. So I'm just going to decorate out here from now on, okay? Now let's just get blue and decorate that whole corner. Stab the blue! Blah, 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 blah. But this is up and down. This is the wrong texture. I I was side to side, so I'm gonna have to go back and fixy fixy texture. Well, 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 well. Oh, I don't like the white part showing through. Scratchy paintbrush. I'll fix it with the side of my paintbrush when I do it. There. Cause it's whatever putting the paint on is whatever, however you want to do it. Cause we go back over it for gentle, gentle, make it match, right? So I go, okay, I look at it all up and down. That doesn't match. I was going side to side. Oh, <gasps> okay. I just accidentally touched my painting right there. Can I fix it with my finger? My finger's like a sponge. Oh, <gasps> it does. Okay. My paintbrush would have been filthy with blue. Okay, let me change the texture back here. Row after row, and as soft as humanly possible. Tickly, 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 tick. Oh, why is it making a white scratch? Maybe, maybe the the paintbrush itself just hit my painting. I'll do it. So, I'll do it softer. Okay, the scratchy uh, metal part must have been hitting my painting. Made a white scratch. Ugh. Ugh. Me no likey. Now the texture matches. Oh! I did it again. It keeps scratching. 
Okay, softer even then. Even softer, okay. Paintbrush. It's giving me troubles. Okay, now I'm gonna clean my paintbrush to get all the blue off. Mostly now with a no blue on my paintbrush. I wanna check and look for that um those flag lines where blue meets dark blue meets baby blue. No paint on my paintbrush. Just see if I have to do any softening. Where the two, where a, a new shade meets another shade. It, okay, there. Oh, and right there. Okay. That's better. It was looking a little harsh. A little harsh. Two colors were just like, <laughs> like that, like a flag. Well, is that 3D? Can we put a little bit of that purple color on there? Love. Because now that this is dry, I like the purple in this side. Oh, yeah. Mine looks weird because I put two layers of white. Remember I did that? Remember? Because I wanted to show Jose that. Okay. So now I get the purpley blue. And I should I put it near the white? No. I like how the white looks. But I can put it in the dark corner corner. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, across the top. Bing, bing, bing. And then remember, if it's too dark, we clean our paintbrush and blendy, blendy soft. So you're gonna freak out and go, it's too dark. I had it perfect. Then we clean our paintbrush and softy, softy, touchy, touchy. Okay, so hmm, those polka dots look ridiculous. So which, which texture is your brush stroke? Mine is side to side. So I just need to make them match texture side to side. Side to side for you, side to side, side to side across the top. Just jealous you didn't get any. Oh, that's really dark right there. La la la, la la, la la la, la la la. Oh, I like how that, that purpley blue floats on top of the dark blue. Neat! But look at this, Ah, oh, that came out too dark right there. Do you have, can I clean my paintbrush? La 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 la. No, don't lick it off. I just get a paper towel and squeeze the extra. I just want to soften with no paint on my paintbrush so it's blurry. Now I can fix the edge wherever I think because it acts like a sponge. It can pick up paint. I'm just like, I'm just like, okay, you need to calm down right there. Oh, it turned to mist. Oh, okay, good. Okay, and that's all for you. Which side is better? The first side was for learning. Second side, we understood it. Sometimes I like my first side better because I was like wild with my brush jokes and I like the texture. And then over here, I get too careful and I'm like, I actually like the wild side. So, mm -hmm. we don't know, we don't know. I feel like I wiped off all the purple on this side when I when it's on my second pass with my white. I was showing Jose. It better be dry. Dry, scratchy paint. Dry, dry, dry. Okay. Invisible, invisible. So I'm using almost no paint on my paintbrush, so it's blur dust. Who feels, who feels like that? Who's got 3D? Is it brighter near the triangle, darker towards the corners? Hmm. Hmm. And then how about the no paint paintbrush for telling colors to soften, relax, calm down, right? It's like, oh, no paint on my paintbrush is excellent for telling two colors to gently soften. Because if you use the paint when it's on, it just keeps painting over stuff and over stuff. And you're like, what's happening? So no paint. You know what else works? Your finger. Remember I showed you that when I made a mistake? Your finger works. But the texture is fingerprints. So unless you're doing it to the whole painting, you can be like, why does somebody keep touching their painting? Because the fingerprints show. But you can fingerprint because there's no paint on, no paint sticks to it. So it's like putting no paint. It's a no paint paintbrush because it's blurry and, and it just goes away. So it's a no paint paintbrush for touching things up. Who feels good about it? Are you ready? 
Remember, it'll come off your hands. Look at mine already. I know. But you just do the count count the birthday song, right? 20 seconds. And then the water will soak into the paint and then it just comes off. No big deal. It turns to glue. Okay, who wants to do snow? Snow. Well, we have the perfect amount of blue in our, because this is supposed to be nighttime, so it's glowing, right? So it makes sense for a Christmas tree. But you have the right amount of blue to make, to make nighttime snow. It shouldn't be pure white. Well, there's no shadow, right? So I just, let's do the bottom. Look at the bottom of my, what is all this? What if I put snow on top of it? Then you won't be able to see this ratty bottom, right? So I'm just going to stab my white. Oh, wait, I still peep people decorating. Is anyone ready for, for snow? Okay, so I'm going to stab my white. Stab, right? Why is it so much? Because we're going to make a nice, smooth snow top. Right? And then, watch, I'm gonna say, I don't wanna see all this ugly, ugly sky business right here, ugly. So I just put it nice and thick and just go, whee, oh, snow. Like that, bye, bye, ugly, ratty, ratty. Then I get more paint, stab. And I'm just gonna erase this other side too. Goodbye, bottom of the ugly sky. Smooth. And it's okay if it's a little bit wobbly. It's snow, of course. Snow is like, now can we move all the way across underneath the pencil right here? Let's attach those two. I made it smooth and then I made it smooth. Now attach, got it, got it. Now, now I'm just gonna get white, right? And I thought, oh, we still need white for our Christmas tree lights. So don't like, spat, you know, use it all up. But can you paint all the way to the bottom, bottom? And don't paint up and down. That makes grass, right? Wrong texture. Off the page to off the page. Off like that, smooth. So I stab my white and smush it in. And smell. Oh, it's slippery. And then I can tell when it turns dry like that. I, it's not slippery. It's not. So I get more paint. Stab. Smoothie, smoothie. Oh, that's dry. Poke. And you can hold it like a pencil, gives you more strength. Hold your paintbrush like a pencil and push and pull, and push and pull, push. I'm using the sides of my paintbrush, not the bristles, they're too sharp, and it'll just scratch the paint off. But I use the sides and it's flat, on it's flat. I'm gonna go get a paper plate real quick while you're doing that. Okay, so everybody did that. Well, what well, looks a little, because we touched it so much, isn't that just a color? So boring. Is that 3D? So let's get the purpley blue for a little shadow. And just, not a lot, just a tiny little poke. I'm just gonna go and poke. And where should I put it? Shouldn't this tree be casting a shadow? I'm just gonna put it under the tree like I'm wiping it off my paintbrush. I touch, ew, what about the other side of my paintbrush? Ew, there, ew. Okay, now there's no paint left. That's it. Oh, we're not done. I just wanted to drop it off so I could decorate with it. Put a little bit of shadow blue. See everybody busy, busy doing the bottoms. Okay, now everybody pause what you're doing. I know you're busy, but watch me do this. Everybody push pause. 
So I put the purpley blue there and watch me. I'm going to go off the page whoosh, to off the page and just smear it along a little bit and give it permission to be a blurry, soft, soft shadow. I put it under the tree, but I kind of drag it along. Walk it up softly because I can end up pushing it off the painting if I'm too hyper. And did it turn to blur like it's blurry? It's not a flag, right? I could even touch the bottom of it a little extra because it will look like a flag. So I'm like, calm down, bottom of the color. So it's not a perfect, like, hard little flag stripe. Right, calm down. Is that pretty? It looks like a, looks like a chateau. So nice. And then this paintbrush is done. Thank you, paintbrush. Right? And uh, we just soak it in water until it becomes soft. And then you can scrub it and use it again. Okay? But just rest it on the table for now. And now we're going to make a Christmas tree. I'll give it a, a one-minute rest because I know some people were finishing up their shadow on the bottom of their tree. And now we need the two. Oh, oh, put the lids on your blues. Because you know you guys can decorate some rocks and stuff and have paint. It doesn't last forever, but it lasts some. And okay, buy blues. Oh, and buy white for now. I can put the lid on the white. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye white. And find my two greens. Why do we need two greens? Because if we use just one green, it won't be 3D. Those look like flat. Right? But I want to show you, I'm going to have to like talk for a minute, which is boring, right? To listen and not do, right? But you're going to do after you listen. But I want to show you a Christmas tree. Okay, I had to run and get a paper plate because I had nothing to demonstrate on. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I use my lid. It's, you know, I'm going to use my lid because when I get my green paint, it comes, that's a huge amount. So if I use my lid, I could just touch my lid and like take some of it off. Okay, calm, tap, tap, tap. Okay, see some of it came off onto my lid. Calm down, calm. Because I touched the, it's too thick. Okay, watch. Now, this is the top. This is the top of your branch. The top of your branch. So these things hanging down are off of the bristles, the needles. The needles of the tree. Want me to prove it? Watch. They all touch. And they all overlap, but I go tap, tap. They overlap like when you're mowing or something. And I even get closer. Tap, tap, tap. So the tops are all matching, but look at the neat needles come out the bottom, right? And then what about the teeny tiny pointy ends of a Christmas tree branch where you hang the ornaments? Do it super soft. It looks like a mustache. <laughs> okay, let's watch another branch. Watch this. Okay, so to be a triangle, the next one has to be shorter. Right? And then shorter. And then shorter. And then shorter. And then shorter. And shorter. And shorter, shorter, shorter. shorter. Okay, that's a skeleton tree. Well, let me put some in her tummy, in the middle, the middly ones, la, 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 because who cares? And then, look at how bad it looks. What if I go and just put some teeny, tiny, super soft little stick outs? Stick out, stick out. Oh, it's the stick out pieces over the sky that is going to make it look like a tree, because triangle means nothing, but these little tiny tap. Tap, 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 tap is actually what makes it look like a Christmas tree. Look how soft I'm doing it. Delicate, delicate, del delicate. Tap, 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 tap. It's the fuzzy edges. And I was just using this little edge. The little, oh, sorry, I'm not in camera. The little edge right there. Okay. It's like a stamp. Like that tree. 
So I showed you and you're like, oh, there's no way, there's no way I could do that. We don't know that, right? So first we're gonna lay down some, how many colors for 3D? Three. So what does my tree have? Is it just this color? Oh, heck no. I got this dark in there and she's shadows. So where does the shadows go? In the tummy part and along the bottom. And you can see pieces of it and that's all we need, okay? So flat paintbrush and we're just using the back side and we'll practice, right? So I'm just gonna get my super dark green. I just go poke and I, oh my God, that's a disgusting amount, I don't care. This isn't the delicate part. Oh, I'm not in camera. There, oh, and I'm just gonna go, I don't know, see if you can make a branch right in the middle of the tree. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, here it comes as it runs out of paint. All right, all right, now you try one. Flat, flat, look, am, am I holding it like a pencil? It's not a pencil. I'm holding it like a magic wand. Hold like a magic wand so it could be like a stamp. Let me try another one. Get more green. Tap, 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 tap. And as I go away and I start running out of paint, here comes the bristles. Tap, 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 tap. And look at how the top of your of your branch is always touching. These are always touching, touching, touching at the top, top, top. Do you feel good about it yet? Wait, 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 pause. Pause, Brandon. Make one perfect one for me first. You're going like this. Ha, la, 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 la. Just make, make sure you get it. We're just practicing for our bride. Now, how about, wouldn't there be a deep, deep shadow along the very bottom, bottom? All right. Okay, it comes out like a giant blob because there's a lot of paint. But as I go farther away and start running out of paint, oh, here comes the pointy little bristles. Oh, okay. All righty. Mm-hmm. Nice shadow on the bottom, bottom. Okay, and this is what I want you to look out for. You human. Humans make things evenly spaced apart because we've been practicing since we were born to make letters the same size and evenly spaced apart. So we're preconditioned. Sorry, too bad. You're human and you've had a human education. So too bad. But... Maybe I could just ruin that pattern by not on purpose making them exactly evenly spaced apart. Maybe some are close together. This is the shadow. We're going to paint over this. We're just like to put some pieces of shadow. They're still evenly spaced apart. <laughs> Look at one finger, one finger, one finger. I couldn't help it. It's my teacher's fault. They made me do good letters and good numbers and space my words apart and my math problems. Did you do yours perfectly even apart too? I made them different lengths, but look at one finger space. One finger. <sighs> so much education, so much. I'll just add a few more, whatever. Whatever. Okay, now we're gonna paint over that. So remember when we were doing the blue and you kind of picked up a color and dropped it off somewhere else and you picked up a color and dropped her off somewhere else? Well, now I can get the green and I don't even care that those dark green ones are there. I'm painting right over them and they're just gonna create, those were just for practice to see if the real little bristle thing was true and stuff. I just laid down some shadow. But now I get my my um, foresty green and I'm gonna paint right over them because I don't love them. I'm not married to them. I don't have to keep them, right? So I just go, hmm, I'm, let's see what kind of color, what kind of texture we get, but what? Look at the different, what? I get dark green pieces and light green pieces. What? Let me show you up close. They are, they are, what? Look at the, there, there's little stripes of dark green in my light green. And if I touch it too much, it becomes one color. But if I give them permission, that looks pretty good. Well, how about one that goes above that? All right. Oh! 
I just dropped my paint. It landed on my, um, my, my, what's that called? My, uh, 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 my brain froze because I dropped it. <laughs> okay, now I can do a row, but they don't have to all touch yet. And then I can put a row above that. Watch this. Tap, 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 tap. And then I just keep walking across. And I walk across. Look at, I'm not even doing the sides yet. Those little tiny fuzzy ones. I don't even care right now. Ooh, and then I hit a dark piece. Oh, this could be very shadowy right there. And then I get more of the of the foresty green and do another row. And another row. And then I I'm like a zigzag. Tap a tap a tap a tap. Ooh, tap a tap. Ooh, ooh. Then I hit some dark green. It's gonna be very dark right there. And then some more of the, the foresty green. They're all overlapping, right? And like, ooh, different versions of green. Accident uh, no white showing. Go back if you have white pieces. Goodbye. This is a tray. We don't want anyone to know there was a canvas underneath. That, oh, oh, the, ooh, ooh. Now it's turning. Now I have two versions of green again. Neat. Neat. I just hit, I just bump into the dark green ones. Don't even care. I'm hunting. I'm hunting for white things. Bye. Bye for you. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. Oh, there's one. Right. Oh, there. Ooh, and I'm making good texture. Look at the, ooh, the needles hanging down. Tap, 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 tap. Needle, needle, needle. Ooh. Who likes that texture it's making? And the color combos. And you're not even trying. It's kind of doing it by itself. Like, you're going tap, 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 you go, ooh, ooh, okay, let's check for 3D. How many colors do you need for 3D? Three. Do you have dark areas? Yes. Do you have medium areas where the two greens mix? Yes. Do you have green, light green by herself? Yes. So good. But what about the edges? That's, that's not very Christmas tree -y, but I have the belly. The belly's really nice. The belly's nice. I'm resting, I'm checking, I'm looking. Okay, now, now who wants to see the Christmas tree point? Remember how you split, I told you about that? right? It's the little ratty edges that makes it look like a Christmas tree. I do not have to get more paint. You know why? Where's all my wet paint? Right here already. So I'm going to go, all I have to do is touch the tree and go tap, tap, tap and walk it out and let one stick out. It's already a triangle, right? But I need some ratty pieces. So everybody pause. Even if you're busy, I know you're very busy, but watch me do this. I just literally touch the tree and go super soft and little. Oh, tap, 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 tap. Oh my gosh, look what I'm doing. They're all evenly spaced apart. I'm such a human. I'm going to have to go back over and ruin that perfect pattern, <laughs> but, but it's okay. So I touch the tree because it's already wet. Touch the tree and soft as I can, I go tap, tap, tap. Oh, there's a stick out. There's a little, little fuzzy stick out. He went whoop, 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 whoop. Boop, boop, boop. And it could be medium size and oh, I touch the tree and walk it out. I touch the tree and walk it out to make little ratty edges. Mine's a little perfect. <sighs> Look at mine. It's so stupid. It's an artificial tree. It's not a wild tree. They're evenly spaced apart and they're all the same length. That doesn't, that doesn't look like a, it doesn't look natural. So go like this. Watch me. Everybody pause. Try to make some ruined ones where they are just a little too big or th ruined the pat pat pattern a li li little bit, 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 a little bit, 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 okay. You're like, why'd you, act, why'd you ruin it a little bit? Doesn't she look a little bit more wild by giving her permission to have just a little not perfectness? Just a little bit of accidental, too big of a tree, too big of a branch, ruin that.
Now she is a, a more normal tree, right? Because I would, you know, the human part of me was like, tap, tap, perfect, tap, tap. Uh, no, just a little, some little spastic stick outy ones is more natural. Like your hair. Nobody smooths it out perfect. It's the little tiny stick out pieces that make it look soft and natural. Okay, okay. Now, now I got some white in my paintbrush because uh, my white was still wet. But I just give it a little tappy tap. It's snow. It's just a little snow. Tap, tap, fix, fix, fix. Okay, now, now I want to do the other side. But you know, I'm going to start off with the perfect ones. They're all the same size because I have a human brain, so I might as well just get it over with and do my perfect, perfect. And I stick out and I'm touching the sky and they're evenly spaced apart. And I touch, touch the pick, touch the tree and walk it out, touch the tree and walk it out. And they're all pretty much exact because I have a human brain. Look at that. Can't be helped. I can forgive myself for being human. It's my parents' fault anyway, because they were human. Can you believe humans have to learn while they're on earth and even learn how to be a parent while parenting? <laughs> Who set that system up? Makes them make mistakes. Okay, now I'm gonna go, okay. Now that, I like this side better that has a few wild ones. Look at this one, looks like toothpicks sticking out. It's all perfect, it's all it. So I'm going to go on purpose, try to make some slightly longer ones and closer together ones and just kind of ruin the perfect pattern and do some extra tappy tappies, some extra fuzzy fuzzies. Still a triangle, but it's all about the texture on the outside of the tree. I need some, I need some extra paint. My white was still wet. I'm gonna go back and put some extra paint on that. I got, I got, I got too much white on mine. Tap, tap, put some extra green on it there. And then I could check for 3D, right? Do I have dark pieces? Do I have medium pieces? Do I have light pieces? Or did I smush them all together and make a color? That's boring. Okay, class, class. Look at the edge of my, just, I'm like a little knife, like don't, I'm going to use just the edge. I don't have anywhere for my star. So I'm going to sneak, everybody pause and look up because I know you're busy decorating. I'm going to go like this and go tap it, tap it, tap it, comes to a pointy, 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 like a knife. Right? Otherwise it's too big, so I'm just using the edge like that. There. Nice. You know what's really cool? When it dries, the darker gets darker and the light gets lighter, so the 3D happens even more. Who likes their edges? Did you start to under, you know, like, and the edges are just a little bit like giving permission to have some fuzz? Just some bristles, sticky outies. No need to be like, ah, ah, ah. no, that was just for the belly. Right, nice. And does it triangle? Does it triangle itself, right? Sometimes it can go end up like this. Oh, all the straight up. Do you feel good about it? Oh, drop my painting. No dancing. Good job. I see all your painting. Okay, this is what we need to move all of our um, our cups of paint away. We need to lay our painting on the table and all our stuff's in the way. And cause we need our, how come? We need our painting flat for making dots. So I got, first I have to move everything. Oh, where's my lids? Okay, over here, get out of my way. And my paintbrushes, I'm done. I'm gonna wash them later. Five dirty paper towels. Okay, so this guy, 
thank you for your service. It can go on the floor. It can go on another part of the table. Just thank you, but no. And then watch me. I'm going to build one. I need a table. There. Now my painting can be flat. Flat. But you won't be able to see a thing. So I have to do it. And then stand it up and do it and stand it up. But you don't stand yours up because I don't want your, yours to leak. Now we get, uh, oh no. Now we need our glow in the dark paint. It's the last one. She looks like glue. We put the light bulbs on first. Isn't that how you do it at your house? I know you can't see my painting. I know, I know. I'll put something under it so you can see it in an angle. If it was a little bit more. I'll put these little cans of paint under there. There, it has a little angle, a little one. So you can see a teensy bit, okay? And then, now I got my glow-in-the-dark paint. Oh, let's make these big, right? So get one of these paint brushes and we'll use his stick. And we'll go like this, dunk, dunk, right? Because it'll make perfect little round dots, right? But then we can, we can, when, oh, we can make them all this big. It's a good size, right? And I'm gonna go, hey, my painting's dry. Ha ha ha, you can't do that because you're a surprise to what. Um, but I'm just gonna go like this and I'm gonna put them in rows. Do you guys watch your uh, mom put on the Christmas lights? Row after row after row, right? Let me show you, I'm gonna do it standing up. <clears throat> so I get the glow and I don't wanna put them in a row. Dink, ha oh, ha, there it is, you can barely see it. Dink, dink. But I, I don't want them to do perfect, perfect, in a row, I have to go up, down, medium, little, up, like that. Oh, it's dripping. Told you. <laughs> They're gonna look like teardrops. But I just do little rows, row, a row, a row, a row, a row, and then the next row above that. But don't go like this, hop, 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 hop. And is our green, our green is still wet, right? So don't be like this. <laughs> because you'll get green in it. And we're not trying to mix the glow in the dark paint and the green. You're placing the glow in the dark paint on top of the green. Gentle. And I can even, watch me, look, I'm gonna hold my cup. So I have farther to glow like this and I can go tap, tap. Oh, oh, look at this. Can we dangle them off the edges like this too? Where the Christmas, oh. Like off our little fuzzy spots, yes. Our fuzzy edges, there, yes. If I go poke, touch, oh, I did it too hard. I got green paint, softer. Oh, and class, class, watch me. Poke, touch, poke, touch. How come? Because it runs out by the second poke, they're too tiny, right? So maybe a poke, touch. A poke. Are they in a perfectly straight line? No, they're ish. Cause you're a human and you're gonna want them in a perfect straight line, like I'm doing right now. Okay, let me go above, below, above, below, above. I'm doing them in rows, but I don't want them perfectly straight. Ooh, and the fuzzy edges on the outside. Poke. Poke, touch, poke, touch, poke, touch, poke. 
and they're nice and round. But that's why if we stood it up, they would leak. And we would be mad. We like them nice and round. And then these look really white, right? They'll dry clear like Elmer's glue. They won't be this bright. And we do not put paint on top of these because you'll cover up her glowiness. So they just, they're just going to be the light bulbs. Oh, I forgot to put them down this side of the fuzzy edge. <laughs> oh, look at I picked up green. I'm going to wipe that off on a paper towel. Okay. I was, I was too hyper. I pushed too hard. Don't push hard. Gentle. Poke. Touch. Hey, how much you want to bet you put them a fingerprint apart? You humans. Is yours exactly a fingerprint apart? Mine are. Because that's what humans do. I don't know. Ooh, I like how it smells. <laughs> Look at all this glow-in-the-dark paint you guys are going to have left over. You're going to have to decide what you want to decorate at home. Maybe rocks or something. But do not put it on your face. It burns. Okay? I say in kids, do that like a bunch of spazzes. I'm going to write on my face. It's burning. Yeah, yeah. It's um, a chemical. Smell that, right? But what if you want to do your light switch? Uh, it could electrocute you. Okay, what if you want to do your, uh, I don't know, the back of your phone? I don't know. But you better check with your mom because she's going to be at night. She's walking through the house and she's going to be like, what the heck? We have ghosts. What is this glowing stuff? It's ectoplasm. Do you guys know what ectoplasm is? Only old people know what ectoplasm is. Ghostbusters. And it glows at a green color. And I pick the green color because, and you'll notice they use this in emergency exits, the green color, because it is the brightest out of all of the glow-in-the-darks. They have other ones, but they're dim. They're just like, mm, whatever. All right, I guess. Okay. I feel good about my glow in the dark dots. I would like to do paint. <laughs> when you're done with your glow in the dark paints, you can open up your pack of paint. And you're gonna need your white paint. Where's white paint? Where'd you go? I, oh yeah, I put it under here. Come back, white paint. Let me use my green one. Falling. Awesome. My white paint. You know why? Because all of these are called um, transparent. Do you guys know that word? Transparent means you can see through it like a window. So you put it on, you're like, uh, where is it? It's clear, right? Because it's not very much pigment. For the gel that they put but you know who is opaque which means you can't see through her is this good white paint that has lots of pigment so we're always going to mix a little bit of color together okay so we need our little square of the blue one that comes with it this is just for mixing she's square right and let's say let's say i want to do um red right you can pick anything but don't do black they'll just make gray right and maybe not do green since we already have green on our tree and maybe not brown you know what i mean okay so i'm going to open my red and i recommend only having one open at a time this is why i had four open and the whole thing tipped over like this Flip. i was like onto my table and start leaking out, right? So, cause the lids make it heavy and fall open. So it tips, okay. So I'm gonna open the red one. And then look at inside the lid, what have I got? A little bit of red, right? Now I'm gonna get some of my white with my, uh, 
little little paint my little square paintbrush and get a scoop and I don't have to mix it in all the way right I'm gonna use my lid and I got a scoop of the white in the cup and just go oh oh I don't even have oh oh that look that's pretty with a swirl I'm not even because I know it's gonna make pink if I keep mixing it but those will be swirly whirly uh, Christmas ornaments, right? And then what if I want to make more red? Scoop the red, swirl it in. Nice. What? And then I could use that big stick again and just put like 10 or 15 per color because we have so many colors to choose from. You don't want to run out of room. And now from my lid, I, I, watch, I can't use this. I'll show you why. Pure red. She She's very dark and she is too deep. It's like, what, where, where is she? I can't even, what? But if I use what I made here with some white in it and it's all swirly, like marble, what? And then I go to put it, watch, I'll put it right next to it. She really stands out and, she, oh, and it's like she has a little flick of white in her and she's brighter and more fun. Hey, I think my dots are staying. I'm waiting for them to start dripping. As soon as they get a, a start to dry, they'll get a hard shell around them. The middle will still be wet, but if they start to move, I have to lay it down again. Stay. Okay. I'm watching. Okay, so just like 15 of them, and I start on the bottom, and I just go, one, two. Why do I count? Because we tend to put too many of one color. So we're trying to be sparse, so we can use up more colors. One, two, three, four, five. More swirly. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eleven. Wait, climbing. 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh my gosh, mine are already too close together. 15, 16. I was trying to do half of that. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, 20. No, because now there's not one on this side. Okay, that's all. Can we go back and add more red ones later? Sure. Right? You could do some more tomorrow if you wanted, right? And, and But I gotta clean my stick off if I'd like to make a new color. Paintbrush, paper towel. Paint. Oh, and I have to clean this little guy off. That eh, boogie. Oh, I broke it. Put it back together. Clip. There. I pulled really hard, but it went back together. Okay, um, I think I want this other one. I totally want to use the hot pink, Barbie pink. That's just for me, right? But look, I'll show you. And she's, she's, I'll just, I just like proving it to you. That's all. So if I put the hot pink on there, you're like, oh, look at it, it's hot pink. But she's completely see-through and boring. Right now, watch if I add a little bit of white swirl into the lid and make some extra. Lay down with the lid. Oh, and I, oh, look, at, look how pretty. It looks like marble or something. The best. Okay, they look like they have little white highlights just accidentally. Let me see if I could do it. Okay, and I'll put it next to her. Look at the tip. Oh, that just made baby pink. I think I mixed it too much. I like the double. Let me try again. Is it? Is it? Is, am I in trouble? No. I'm. A, I'm experimenting. Put more of the pink in it. It was too big. Too much white. I didn't know. Right. Oh, that one's better. And look, it has a marbling to it. What? Which one's best? Right. Wait. Am I doing it right? There. Right? So there is pink by herself, kind of snorbore. And then too much white, she was baby pink, but there's the marbly pink one. What? You're jealous of mine. Because I made marbly pink. What? 
Okay, how many of those? I don't know. I'm going to spread them out and see how they look. Trying to be sparse because I want to use all the colors. I keep warning you about putting too many of one color because I've done it and then I didn't have any room to put any more colors and I was like, I could have planned that out better. So I'm trying to be helping you and be your planner. But like I could have spread those out a little bit. Because <laughs> red's my favorite color. I mean, look, see my red apron. So I was like, I'll put red everywhere. And I'm like, I don't have any more room. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, it's not making marble. I'm going to make a little bit more white in it. Do a swirl. Ooh. And then scoop. Oh, it's so pretty. And then I can stare at it, too, and be like, hey, I, ha I, I need some on this side. This side doesn't have any. Right? And the middle got skipped. A little bit more. Oh, near the top is jealous. Okay, that's all. Because I can always go back and add more. I could do this tomorrow, too. I clean my stick. Who? How many colors have you done already? Are you beating me? Are you beating me? What? I just clean off my paintbrush. Oh, I broke it again. You guys beating me? Because I can't see your painting, so I'm just... Hoping you guys are just moving right along. You don't need me for this, do you? You know how to make dots? You can just say, be quiet, lady. We're decorating. Okay, I'm going to close my lids, though. I worry my, my paint cups will tip over on me, and I hate that. Purple. I'm going to do purple next. Ooh. Just a little bit of white. Just a little bit. Because they're see-through paints, which is very annoying. Okay. Oh, it made lavender. I'm gonna put more purple in it. Scoop. Hey, paintbrush, get back on there. Okay. Swirl. I like the marbling swirl of it. Stick. Okay. Decorate. Check with your brain. How is your brain right now? Is your brain relaxed? Curious, full of wonder, right? And we, and we drop down to that very calm feeling. And we keep our arms up, right, when we're decorating, because we rest our arms, we touch a wet painting. Keep our arms up. And push up your sleeves, because moms don't like paint on your sleeves. They look down on that. Oh, all I have is lavender. I liked it better when it was marbly. Let me make it again. Yes. Ah. Get your paintbrush. I get a scoop purple and a scoop of white. Swirly swirl. Okay, paintbrush is dead. Where's my other paintbrush? I could use this one. Okay. You know why? Because I was too, when I cleaned it, I pinched it really hard and broke it right off. Okay, now, now I have that marbly business going. Oh, God. Way better than lavender. Oh! Oh! I like that better. I like that so much better when it's got the swirl. Of a little bit of white in it instead of just mixed together. I don't know if you guys have ever seen marble in real life, but nature makes it. I, I, I've been to one of those big granite warehouses and I could just stare all day that nature can make such swirly paintings out of stone. Just like this. Oh, and then I look and I give it a once over with my critical eye and I go, 
Do I have some in like every, just one or two in every section? I think I do. I can always put more later. Clean my stick, clean my paintbrush. Now I'm gonna use or on. Oh, and I put the lid on because they tip over. I just warned you about that because it made me really mad. Okay, orange, a little bit of white. A calm brain, just full of wonder and curiosity about what's going to happen next. It's almost like you watch your hand do it. You're like, look at, look what just happened. It's amazing. putting orange but I'm having a hard time just see now it's getting crowded and now I, it's hard for me to tell where they should go because it's getting very busy mostly I have them only on one side so I have to stare and block out the other colors seeing where orange should go no orange in this corner it gets complicated really with that How many colors are I done? One, two, three, four. Four colors and it's already this busy? Jeez. Good thing I paced myself and only put a few of each color. Yellow. How many could we put? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple? Well, maybe skip green because the tree's already green. Oh, and I want to tell you this. Everybody pause, right? I know you're busy. Pause. But I don't want to tell you this right now, but I'm gonna. You know the extra glow in the dark paint with a clean paintbrush? You could actually paint the glow around the tree, with, right? And paint the snow. But can you do it right now? No? Your green tree is red, is wet. The blue might be wet and it will make a disgusting schmear. So if you're going to use more glow in the dark paint, like you have ideas of, or put stars, right? Do it tomorrow when you're sure the painting's dry. Okay. Cause it will just make smears everywhere. Okay. So tomorrow extra decoration with the glow in the dark paint, but not today. Okay. Can I make everybody pause for a second? I want to make the star. And I want to make the star together, right? The star at the top of the tree. Want to put a star? We'll do it together. So everyone open your yellow and we'll make some baby yellow. Uh, Won't open, okay, there. Baby yellow. And some white in my baby yellow. Okay, and the trick is that we still use the stick of our big paintbrush. Okay, is everybody ready? I'm waiting for eyeballs. Okay, so for, and we always flick land in the middle and flick away. And land in the middle and flick away. And land in the middle and flick away. Okay, so I'll show you. I'm gonna get a glob of yellow on the end of my oil, right? And I'm gonna go like a fingerprint above my tree. I'm just gonna like and put okay, that's that's the center of her, right? That'll work. And then I get some more yellow with a little bit of white in it. And now watch me, everybody watch. So I'm gonna make a plus, but I cannot go plus like I write in pencil. I have to go land and swipe up, and that's why it's pointy. Look at the top. It looks like sparklers, right? I went, whoosh! Sparklers at the top. You're so jealous. Okay, and then, okay, I land right back in the middle of it, and I flick it down. Whoosh! 
Oh, it totally didn't work. There was not enough paint on my paintbrush. Okay, big booger. Land and scratch down. Scratch down. Right? And I'm looking for the sparklers on the bottom where it dries you out. Right? It's like, ooh, sparklers. Sparklers. And then I can do, oh, then I can get, I get more paint. If I have to, I just dip it in the yellow. Right? Let. And then I'm going to make a plus. But I land in the middle and I push, I just flick away. Land and flick. Flick. Oh, look, it took me two times. But that's okay. I couldn't, I didn't push hard enough. I get the yellow and I land in the middle. Now I have a plus. And what if one of them is super long and one is short? So it's a sparkling star. Okay, everybody pause and look up. Now, what about the corners? The corners are jealous. So I land in the middle and I do the corners. Land and flick. Land and flick. I get more. Land and flick. Land and flick. Well, that doesn't look very bright. What could I do to make that more white? I meant bright. A little bit of white right in her heart. So now I poke the white. Watch me. I'm just gonna do it over again. Okay, back up. So I land in the middle and I go straight up with my pure white. Flick. Oh, down, flick. Side, side. Oh, now the white sparkles it. Let me show that again because I think I was off camera. So I land, I land, I land in the middle of it. I go land and scratch away, land and scratch away. It just stripes with the white and the yellow and the yellow and the white. And I get sparklers coming out of the center. I always touch the center and flick out and touch the center and flick out. Now I'm going to make yellow dots for my Christmas. Hey, some of my purple ones are dripping. Man, because I stood mine up. Yours is going to be better because it's laying down. Okay, now I'm going to get yellow ones, but I want to make the spiral. I mean the, um, what do they call it? The marbly swirl. So, and these are very bright, so that'll be fun. Pink. Oh, look at that. How many more colors do I have? I could do blue ones and baby blue ones and peach ones. Ooh, these are so bright. I want to put more of them. I have to control myself. It's fun. So I put too many all the time. Well, you should see my Christmas tree. Dog alert. Oh, look at mine. See, I want to show you my yellows. Look, they're not round. I didn't have enough paint on my paintbrush, so they're looking like beans or something. That's not, I'm going to go back over them with a nice glob of yellow paint, so they're round. It's not enough paint, they look odd shaped. I'm going to do it again. Do over. I don't get mad. I just do better. There, now they're round. I fixed them. Who feels like they're gonna come back to this later and keep playing with it even after we're done? Because once you take, cause you know what? You'll take it into the bathroom and turn off the light cause usually it's the darkest room during the day. And then you'll go, no, we need, we need more glow in the dark lights on our tray. I did not put enough now that I see how awesome they are. And so you can, after your tree's all dry, what if you painted in the dark with your glow-in-the-dark paint? What? Well, 
laid on the toilet, you're painting on the toilet, not on the sink because the water will get on it, but on the toilet, and then with your cup of glow-in-the-dark paint, because they'll be glowing in the dark, and you can see where you need more, but only after these are dry, because you might land on a paint, right? I need more yellow. And then tomorrow when you're sure your painting's all dry, or late later this afternoon when you're sure everything's dry, you can put glow in the dark paint, like it looks like it's glowing, with a clean paintbrush, or with your finger. Glow around your, ooh! After your star is dry, you can put glow in the dark paint on the star. And then wouldn't the snow reflect a little bit of glow, glow in the dark because the lights from the tree would have some glow? You could keep playing, right? You don't have to call this done. And then I had a friend who at the craft store found little tiny um, um, decoration presents. They're like little tiny, um, and they were, they're like just in the craft section. And then she hot glued them to the bottom. <laughs> I don't know. Fun, fun. What if we put glow in the dark stars in our sky? Right? I don't know. I'm just saying ideas out loud. You might want to play with later on when this is drier. Oh, that was completely ugly. It was not enough paint. 60-60. There, now it's round. So, who thinks this is coming out better than you thought it would? Who felt, who felt like, like, remember when we started and you were nervous and excited because they feel the same in your body and you thought, there's no way, I'm going to ruin it, it's going to be terrible, and now we're done? And how do you feel about it now? I know. What, what kind of good brain do you have that you can follow directions and make something in one, one go? Right? Remember when I when I went in with Jose and I added more white over here? Look how much more white this side is. Because remember I went like that and pushed backwards, backwards, backwards like that? And then this side I didn't do that. So they're different. I can see it in the camera. But I can't see it right here, but I can see it in the camera. Did we do a good job? I think you did. I think you should keep playing. I don't think you should call it done. Except for maybe you're hungry for lunch and then you could come back to it. But keep the lids on, right? This paint dries out. And the lid on my white, because the white's very handy. And then washy, washy your paint. You could soak your paint brushes for a good long time and then scrub them because this is liquid plastic. And then you use a scrub brush like when you're gonna clean the dishes, right? Or, or scrub the, the, the bathtub. <laughs> And then it will break up the, the hard parts and wash away. Yeah, these are fun. You can make, make lots of things with these. And these tiny paintbrushes too are handy. Good job. I like watching you guys. Hey, Brandon, can you hold up your painting so I can see it? Oh, it's a bit, look how it glows. It's 3D, it's so pretty. Brandon! Good job, Brandon. Good job, Brandon. I can't wait till you get to see it in the bathroom and glow in the dark paint. You're gonna love it. Good job. Does anyone else want to show theirs? Does anyone else feel done? Let's have Rosa that she's holding hers up. Oh. And then I'll go. Ooh. Look at it glow. So fun. Let's go to Cardinal's neck. Ooh, look Good at the colors. Job. Good job. I'm going to go to Miss Parker next. Go ahead and hold it up, and then I'm just going to make you spotlight so everyone can Ooh, look at your colors. I was adding in the chat box, uh, Pixley, that 
that the kids could add presents, they could add yep. Charlie Brown, just some ideas. There oh, is Jackie. Oh, I love your colors. Let's see, Emma, there's Emma, let me show Emma. Oh, you put stars. And yes. glows, and it's 3D. I like your stars. Can't wait till you put more glow in the dark on it. You have to see it in the dark. When I had my studio, all the kids, we'd take turns and run into the bathroom and close the door so we could see the uh, see our paintings glow. And then I'd hear them in the bathroom and squeal. <laughs> Ooh, look at that one. Oh, wow, Wands, your came out great. So good. Well, thank you so much, everyone, that joined you. I know some of it's not done, and like uh, Kristen said, you can go back to it later on or tomorrow and add more stuff. And we are going to be meeting on Tuesday. I was going to have everyone share it today, but I'm going to wait for Tuesday. Let me share um, Abby. Oh, yeah. Look at, hey, you have a Christmas tree behind you. Look at, they match. Look at, oh, my God. And everyone else that joined us again, thank you for joining. Um, if you like today's activity, make sure you share that uh, with your parents because sometimes I have activities planned for our students and not all of our students are able to make it, so we always have extra. And I'm also um, very excited that um, all of